Hello friends, how are you all? This is Jin Island School. And here we learn about the basic genetic engineering, biotechnology and molecular biology. So today we will learn a basic of genetic engineering. That's the homology. That means the ortholog, paralog and homologs. We know that homology describes the relationship between the genes describe the relationship between the genes and how they are inherited from ancestors from an ancestor when that is discussed with different ancestor with the connection of the previous ancestor there is the main mechanism of the homology this means when a gene is inherited to a new gene or new species then the relationship between the dna and the protein of the new ancestor is the main mechanism of Orthology, homology, and paralogy. So, first we will learn about orthology. Consider this is a gene X. Evolutionary, it becomes separated and it separated to two species, that is X1 and X2. This is the ancestral species, and there are the two new species, that is X1 and that is X2. Suppose that is, that is a ancestral bacteria and that is transferred or that is moderated to new two species and if consider it is a fungi or it is a yeast. So, a, a gene is transferred to new type of genes or a species is transferred to new type of species but there are a connection with the previous ancestor so so here what is we see that same gene are divided same gene are divided among the species so we call that this the speciation i repeat that's called the speciation to division of a same gene to a different species so the, that is called ortholog. The new species contain the same gene, but new species are different with each other. I said that that is suppose that is a bacteria, and if you consider that is a fungi and that is a yeast, so same gene are divided with different species. That is called ortholog. Now we will learn about the paralog. Consider the same gene X, that is the X from the previous ancestor, evolutionary that is divided into a new species, but this contains X1 and X2. But this gene division is accomplished in the same species. A species, the gene is separated to X1 and X2 but that it happens in the same species so that is called paralog so main mechanism is that the gene is duplicated here x1 and x2 but in a common species but there is no differences in the species like ortholog i said that in the ortholog the previous gene is transferred to different different species but, but in the paralog that is in the same species so that is the main mechanism of paralog so here you see that the duplication genes are parallel to each other even through over times they might become different in sequence and function a time can go a, a section of time when passed but but they remain in the different gene manner but they contains in the same species now we will discover about homolog if we consider a new type of gene that is x1 a x1 b among s2 a among x2 b so first we have the ancestral gene x that is transferred to a new species contains the different gene but from the same species that is x1 and x2 genes 
that is divided into same species like paralog and now if you consider by specific by speciation that is x1 a x2 a and that is transferred to x1 b and x2 b by speciation new species are found here suppose it it is a cat or it is a dog so new speciation are found here speciation you know that new species or new organisms are found in the speciation process so here you see that if you consider that x1 a and x1 b when it happens x1 a and x1 b then it will be orthologue we know the orthologues are same gene in different species but that is only happens in homologue when that is x1 a and x2 b are found in the speciation that will be homologue that's all the basic about orthologue paralog and homologue here that is homologue cause ancestrically cons conserved from x so it is homologue cause we know that a homologous gene is a gene inherited in two species by a common ancestry while homologous genes can be similar in sequence similar sequence are not necessarily homologous here we will discuss about the homologous dna in genetics the term homologue is used both to refer in homologous protein or the homologous gene as with anatomical structures homology between proteins homology between protein or dna sequence is defined term of shared ancestry that means the sharing of the ancestry is found in the homology protein here you see the star marking here that is the star marking and that is also the star markings so the star marks here consider that there is the here is a sequence alignment of homologous protein of two different species so there is a star marking i said that there is a homologous protein or there is a conserved protein that is conserved protein that this are marking in this sequence so here we discussed about gene homology and their function to the ancestral elements so that's all about the ortholog paralog and homolog i think that everyone now can easily understand about the this i i will repeat with a uh, short st statement that is ortholog means a species it is divided into two species but there is a common ancestor then that is called ortholog but when that this species is duplicated to a new species but new species is conserved with the different genes but in the same species then that is called the paralog and homolog is ancestrally conserved egg containing that means their ancestral sequence are conserved with each other then that will call the homolog and finally we have discussed about the homologous gene or homologous homologous protein and the star markings and among the sequence of protein sequence of two different species makes us discuss discussing about the relationship or the homologous relationship among the proteins so that's all about my next lesson thanks for watching for my lesson if you uh, consider that Uh, you have learned something or you have learned a little bit from my lesson subscribe my channel and share the video with your friends so that everybody can easily understand about the basic genetic engineering and biotechnology and comment me about my fault about the about the topic and what i should add to my topic and then i will do it and if you want to uh, want some lectures comment comment me what lecture you want to know then i will publish 
the lecture as soon as possible. That's all. Goodbye.